What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Derek. And I am Kevin. And together we're last week's album. Uh, we're bringing you the only reviews with two different views. And this week we're talking about 1989 by Ryan Adams. And we're asking the big question, does Ryan Adams make Taylor Swift's 1989 worth reliving? Uh, but before we go any further, we're going to start things off like we always do, drinking a beer. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, everyone at home. Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. All right. So Ryan Adams is a, an alt-country singer-songwriter, formerly of uh, Whiskey Town, Cardinal, and Mandy Moore Matrimony fame. This is his 15th studio album. He was really digging the Taylor Swift, Swift album uh, while he was going through uh, separation divorce uh, from the aforementioned Mandy Moore Matrimony. He kind of asked his pal Taylor Swift if she would mind if he did a track by track uh, album cover album of her uh, 1989. We're going to start off by talking about what it sounds like. So, Kevin, uh, what did you think? Derek, I think this sounds like Bruce Springsteen covering a Dolly Parton album. I think this sounds like Ryan Adams breathing new alt country air into songs about Taylor Swift's ex boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice all right so let's talk about some highlights kevin uh what did what did you think uh sure i've got a few highlights uh mostly in the form of songs uh i thought blank space was a great redo he really stripped that one down to its core in a nice kind of uh turn it on its head kind of way um shake it off i love how he sort of reimagines this pop rager as a moody reflection and i thought it was one of the few tracks that's almost lyrically believable coming from ryan adams and the casio keyboard was a particularly nice clash with its sort of moody vibe and then lastly i know places great baseline cool spaghetti western feel um, i thought the emotion was strong throughout plenty of ryan adams moodiness that we all know and love and i think he took this project very very seriously uh kind of to my surprise what were your highlights you know, the biggest highlight to me was Shake It Off, mostly because that was like the only one I recognized. <laughs> out of the woods, I thought he did kind of break out of um, the Ryan Adams uh, cocoon, if you will. Um, this one really kind of had a cool instrumental towards the end, mesmerizing electric guitars mirrored by strings. And it definitely, to me, struck me as more of an orchestral sound than I'm uh, accustomed to hearing from Ryan Adams. That song in particular caught my ear too, because it kind of had these country vibes, which was really interesting to think about considering where Taylor Swift started. Um, although now she's become more of a crossover pop artist. I think he took a few of these songs in a country direction, which was really kind of interesting. All right, yeah. so those were some highlights. Now let's talk about some lowlights. Kevin? Um, sure. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, he took this project very seriously, sometimes too seriously. Uh, I think sometimes he's trying too hard with the emotion, particularly on Stay and Bad Blood. Other times it just feels a little rushed. Um, you know, he kind of sticks to this weak formula of just turning every song into a Ryan Adams song. He doesn't really explore them or give them space to breathe. They're kind of just the same song done by him. All right, so that brings us to overall rating and ask some big question. Does Ryan Adams make Taylor Swift's 1989 worth reliving? Kevin, why don't you start us off? Uh, kind of. Um, I didn't need to relive the whole album in the style of Ryan Adams. I could have done with like an EP of select songs, namely, you know, Blank Space, Shake It Off. Uh, and a few others. So yeah, overall rating, I'm gonna give this one a two out of five as much as it pains me. I love Ryan Adams, I just wasn't feeling this album in particular. What do you think, Derek? Those are understandable, but uh, you know, to answer the big question, does he make the album worth reliving? Um, I'm gonna say yes for like a few times. Conceptually, it was kind of a unique venture um, even to tackle. Um, heck, I think it's kind of cool Taylor Swift to, uh, let him cover, uh, all her songs here. Um, the one's great for diehard Ryan Adams fans. Um, and you know, it might be a cool listen for Taylor Swift fans that aren't familiar with Ryan Adams at all. 
Um, so that being said, I'm giving this uh, an overall rating of three out of five. Uh, so combined with Kevin's two, that, that's making this one a five out of ten. But what you shouldn't do is forget to join us next time on last week's album. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, check out the podcast, um, and join us again uh, next time as we uh, continue to bring you the only reviews with two different views. Uh, as always, I'm Derek. And I'm Kevin. Cheers, guys.